you are not part of this discussion. You are not a new mom. Are you a new mom? <laughs> Okay, my people, back to my channel. For my returning subscribers, I'm so 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 grateful. I don't know what I would do without you on this channel. And if you are watching this video, please subscribe if you like my content. I cook food, I do DIY, and any kind of thing for now. In today's video, I'll be talking about the kind of things you shouldn't say to a new mom. Pregnancy and delivery drains a woman emotionally, physically, otherwise. So number one thing I want to point, point, point is asking the gender of the baby before congratulating that woman. I'm not saying it's bad for you to ask, hey, why? What did you give birth to? No, 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 no. Me, I do it. But some people, you just got them, I've given, or they just heard that you've given birth or you've delivered. You first of all ask, why? Give me a camera. Oh, okay. Go on. In a joke, I'm talking. Tell that woman, congratulations. So, wow, I'm happy for you. May God's name be praised. Then you cannot go on and ask her the gender of the baby. But it's not when the woman just calls you or you heard that the woman has given birth. Unless the person is close to you, depending on the relationship. Unless the person is just maybe extra close to you, you can just jump into the question. But when, even, even if the person is just too close to you, just say that congrats. First of all, say that congrats before any other thing. So, another point I have my papers here. <laughs> I needed to make sure I pinpoint all this matter. Because I, as I said earlier, this video is a kind of creating awareness. So that all of us, you and I, that are guilty of all these questions, or advice or things we do especially when we are visiting a new mom we will just stop it yes we will stop it we have to stop it a woman has just given birth and you are telling her i forget like your tummy is still big it's like you have another baby ah madam okay stop it stop it this woman just went through a lot of things and the process of giving birth, the process of delivery is kind of, I won't say it's a life or death something, but it's, it's risky. So the list of the things you should worry about is her body and you shouldn't push it to her for her to start thinking her. This is not how I was. So see me, I gave birth nine months ago. I bet my tummy is too big. I've been working on it though, because you know you've got to slay. <laughs> you've got to slay. I'm not saying the woman should not slay. I'm not saying if you give birth you should leave yourself. You shouldn't work out or. But that is not the first thing a, a new mom wants to hear. This is a woman that is about to enter another phase of her life about to transit from being just her no no toddler or no baby just living her free life a free life like not bothering what what will baby is why is this baby crying blah 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 into staying staying late night all true so this is not her body is not what you should be talking about now. That snap back advice can put a woman into depression. I'm serious. I'm saying this out of experience. You know when you just give birth or before you before you gave birth, your body was like you were sleeping very slim and all that. Now after giving birth, people expect you to go back to that stature 
that's your leba leba listing. No, and they will now you just get better. Someone is telling you, you see, you are you are adding no. Better watch it though. How do you expect me to watch my weight when I'm breastfeeding? When I'm exclusively breastfeeding, I'm talking about me. Me, this is just my case. So when people keep saying this, when you just snap picture and you post, ha, ah, you are adding, take it easy. See how fast you are. You have you are you are you are now looking two times your age, or you are looking three times your age. Take it easy. <sighs> It pisses me off, man. And I give it to them. You're not part of this discussion. You're not a new mom. Are you a new mom? <laughs> it took that tummy nine months to stretch. And you want me to snap that tummy back inside within one month. Ha! Huh? Fear God. This thing they call postpartum depression is very real. Very real. And we have to educate ourselves. We have to also take corrections. I'm not left out of this. I'm also part of all these things I'm saying. And I'm taking correction now. So the next one I want to talk about is giving moms, mothers, advice on whether to do exclusive or not. I'm guilty of it, 100%. <laughs> Short, like, there's also like chief chairman of exclusive advisors. Not me. <laughs> but ever since I got enlightened, I now saw reasons with mothers that can't give their baby um, exclusive breastfeeding or cannot even be breastfeed their baby. So anyone that is fine, for you, just do. It's nice, but not all women can can go through the process of exclusive breastfeeding due to some health condition. It is her baby, it is her choice. You were not there when she delivered this baby. You don't know the kind of stress she went through. All you know is that you saw this baby and you want her to breastfeed or exclusively breastfeed. You don't know other health backgrounds behind her delivery or pregnancy so we don't need that advice auntie uncle keep it thank you situation of ah how old is your baby one month your baby is too lean though eh? are you sure you're breastfeeding this baby eh? uncle auntie no i'm not i'm not feeding my baby well I brought in that baby for me to starve her. You don't know that there are some babies that are fat in nature, or some of them are slim. I'm a witness. My first baby was horrible. But this is my second baby now. Bingala, 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 bingala. And the funny part of the whole thing is that he eats more than. My first baby, but still. So all this is uh, just genetics. So you, you don't come and tell the woman who has gone through all this stress of pregnancy and delivery that she's not feeding her baby. I mean, I carried my baby nine months, delivered my baby, and only for me for me to starve my baby. Like you love my baby more than I do. So all this is a uh, words and I would like to say there are sentences or, or or words that push a woman into depression. We are this this Nigeria alone is enough. It is enough depression. Eh? It's enough frustration. Another point I want to talk about is asking a new mom whether she delivered normal or CS. That one pisses most women off. This is a woman that just went through stress to give birth to a healthy baby. And you are asking her if it is and to which one is normal and to abnormal. As long as you have a healthy baby, that is the goal of giving birth. So whether it is through CS or vagina, 
that shouldn't be your concern because why you are you are asking okay get costly get your figure so all these kind of questions have tendency of pushing a woman into depression this is a kind of awareness video for us to stop it yeah ginger ginger what is bad is bad yes in as much as it's it's if it's kind of getting normal in this our world but it shouldn't be normal what is bad is bad mm. then we mothers we shouldn't take all these things to heart this is our society everybody's entitled to whatever he or she says with her mouth so the least we can do is either we give them listening ear of just you know take it as part of life and just ignore shouldn't take all these things to heart because most people do all this out of ignorance they are not aware that they are pushing you into um, depression the one that is pending me is this nap bag eh? this nap back mentality is toxic honestly snap back mentality is toxic if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for eh what are you waiting for should i come and push your hand for you to subscribe mm? i'm ready to jump out of this camera and push you so not subscribe if you like this content and if you want me to be sharing more of this content with you guys i'll be glad because i have a lot of content concerning motherhood to share to the to the world so please and if you are a returning subscriber Oh, you will have a very special place in my heart. Thank you for always watching my video. I don't take it for granted. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you.